Guitar and Excel, spreadsheet creation mapping the path to fretboard enlightenment, part number 15. Get ready and don't fret. Remember, the board's fretted, so you don't have to be. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet, but we started in a prior presentation. So if you're using a blank worksheet, you may want to begin back there. If you do have access to this workbook, there's a whole bunch of tabs down below, including the example tab, the end result, the finished product, the answer key, if you will, a bunch of starting point tabs, which will tie into the beginning points of the video presentations as we work through the long practice problem, and then the blank tab representing the blank worksheet we started with and will be continuing on at this time. Let's give a quick recap of what we have done thus far. We started by listing the musical alphabet A and then the sharps and flats being represented by the lowercase a, b in between could be an A sharp, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp G, G sharp starts over from A. We repeated the process a couple times. We numbered them with what I'm gonna be calling absolute numbers because they're not gonna be changed relative to the scale. And then we combine them together so we can see the absolute number. So we can represent note A by saying either A or it's the one note. Then we created our fretboard, both with the absolute numbers and with a fretboard having the numbers and the letters related to it. We used our musical alphabet to create a scale, which can be adjustable by simply adjusting this first key note. So we're starting with the key of C because that's what most people recognize easiest to start off with. So you got the formula, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, repeating the formula again allows us to create our tool on the right hand side and if we see it down here we can see the letters which gives us the relative positions to the scale major scale in this case of the key of c one to seven notes we have the roman numerals which give us an added piece of information because if it's a capital or uppercase that means it's going to be constructing a major uh, a major chord versus a minor chord we also have some of the distances up top that we'll talk about when we start to analyze our information. We also see it in the terms of a circle. Very nice to be able to see this way because then you can see the infinite uh, progression and imagine it kind of going on forever in a circle type of format. We then did the modes. Let's look at it down here, the minor. We did the minor or Aeolian and then the related Dorian and then the related Phrygian and then the related Lydian and then the Mixolydian, and then the Lokian. So that is useful because that all ties out to the same kind of fretboard over here because they're all using the same notes. We then said that we might want to have on the same worksheet all of the modes related to the pivot point of C as the key we're working in. So we went down and said, so let's do the minor C minor down below instead of A minor, the relative minor, D Dorian, uh, I mean C Dorian, and then C Phrygian, and then uh, C Lydian, and so on. This allows us to, to do something like this. We can basically have, we can hide all of these cells, for example, and then we can see this side by side. We can hide this and see these side by side here. So I can see my major and this one over here. I might want to hide everything underneath so I can see the next one and then I can hide these. So now I can say, okay, if I was playing, maybe I want to go from the major uh, to the relative minor over here, which both uses the same set of notes on the fretboard, or I might want to go from the major down to the minor using the C as the pivot point. And so, and then we can have a different fretboard, which will have different notes on it, but given the fact that we're now looking at uh, a different key, not just a different mode, it's gonna have actually different notes in it. Okay, that's the idea. So I'm gonna unhide this, unhide, and then we'll unhide this, unhide, and then I'm just going to continue down 
I'm gonna hold control and scroll down, zoom in out a bit. I think this project is easier to do if zoomed out a bit. In prior presentations, what we've done is take the information that we listed on down below and then put the relative modes to the right. We did that with the Dorian. We did that with the Phrygian. We did that with the Lydian. Oh, we didn't do it with the Lydian. That's where we're at now. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll do it faster this time because we did the same kind of process last presentation. We'll try to wrap it up this time. So I'm gonna copy this to get the formatting. I'm just gonna paste it all the way across to start out with and then we'll make the changes that need to be made. I'm just pasting each section so we can get all the related modes. Should have the same number of related modes as the one above it, and the formatting should be the same in terms of the width of the cells. So that looks good. Then I'm gonna go back and just list out the modes. We have the Lydian. Now the next one is Mixolydian, which is pop populating properly. And then the next one is gonna be the Lokian, which is the last one, then it's going to go around the horn again, around the circle. That's why it's not populated here. That's going to be the major scale. So I'm going to pick this one up by saying equal, scrolling up to the top, and then I'm going to go all the way to the left to pick up the relative major scale on the left. So we'll pick that up. There's the major scale. Boom. Okay, now let's. this is going to be the home base. So I'm going to make this red. I'll make the whole thing red this time so we can really see that that's the home base. Now I want to get that first key note correct. So how are we going to do that? Well, it, we're going to pull it from the home, from our starting position here, which was in the uh, Lydian. So we're in Lydian on the C Lydian. So if I, if I go up top and say, well, where is the major in relation to the Lydian? To see that, it's easy to go up top and find our Lydian up here when we did it this way. I'm gonna say, here's the Phrygian, there's the Lydian, and this is when our C uh, was the major. So in this case, uh, it looks like it's position five, right? So position five is uh, what we're looking for. So I'm gonna say, okay, that means that if I go down to my major so let's go down to the major the one we just put together down here the last one and find the major where is the major there it is so i'm going to say this first note then is going to be equal to and we're going to go to the first part here the lydian and it was position five. So we're gonna start with that 11. So starting with the 11, which is a G, and then I can just copy down the formula, which should be relative to this cell we copied over here. So I'm just gonna copy this and paste it down, pasting it the formulas only, and that should give us copying it down the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half formula. I'm gonna copy that here as well, pasting it formulas only which will give us our Roman numerals. So then I'm gonna copy the major and let's go to the right first because that's uh, the order we're used to. And the next one, when I paste it, should be the minor because that's the next one we worked on. So the minor, and that looks good. Now I'm gonna use the major as my home base. So the minor starting note is gonna be the sixth. So that's gonna be the eight in this case. So I will enter that. And then the formulas, let's pick up the formulas are gonna be, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it right here, pasting it uh, formulas. Uh, hold on a sec, I'm gonna copy this and paste it formulas. And hold on, I messed that up because I copy this. I'm gonna paste it over here, formula, and there's the minor. Then I'm gonna copy it and paste it here, just the formulas, and there it is. So now we paste that down copying this one more time i'm going to paste it over here the formulas only and copy that down all right then the next one after the minor now now we're going to go relative to the major will be the dorian which will be the one right to the right first one to the right so we're going to go okay let's paste this i would imagine this would be the dorian so right click paste just the formulas and uh, the starting note needs to be equal to, I'm gonna go back to the major scale, 
and this is going to be the first one to the right so it's the two note of the major so i'm going to say all right enter and then i'm going to copy this relative cell reference and paste it right here paste the formulas only copy that down copy that cell reference and paste it right here just the formulas and copy that down let's copy the dorian and then go to the next one which should be the phrygian i believe so we're going to right click and paste the phrygian and then i'm going to say the, the first note should be the the three note of the major scale so i'm going to go back on over to the major scale here so three relative position right meaning i'm talking about this number three and then it's the three note which is the absolute number three of a b for the note name so i'm going to say all right that's enter and then let's copy this paste just the formulas here copy that down i'm going to copy this paste just the formulas here and copy that down and then copy the phrygian and go to the right uh, well the next one is going to be all the way to the left now so let's go to the left and that's where our starting point was which should be the lydian so now we have the lydian and it's starting on the four does that make sense because if i go back on over to our major scale we did the dorian which was which was the two note of the major scale uh scale phrygian and then uh the lydian so that makes sense so now we're going to go after that so now we're on the six so i'm going to go back to the left and say okay so now we did the lydian which was the four and now we're on the mixolydian so the first note for the mixolydian is going to be equal to if i go to the right it might be easier i could be doing this by just pulling the next note from the one prior to it you know but i'm going to go i'm going to keep on doing it from the major because i think that's the easiest way for me to see it i'm going to say this is going to be then the six so mixolydian is the five the app the relative position five note of the major scale which in this case is the absolute note of a six or a d right so i'm going to say all right there's that and let's say copy this and i'll paste it in the formulas only here and paste that down boom okay and then i'm going to copy actually i think that's all we need to do on here we just need to change that first note everything else is populating properly okay so then mixolydian then we've got the Lokian. So that was six. And now we're on the Lokian. That's the last one. So I'm going to say this equals, if I go to my major scale, the last one, we're not going to the eight because that's the minor. So Lokian is the relative uh, seven position of the major scale, right? Which is a 10, in this case, F sharp. So I'm going to say, okay, there it is. I think everything else is populating. All right, let's do it again. And let's copy this whole thing again. And I'm going to say, let's cop, let's just copy this whole thing down. Uh, hold on a second. We'll copy the format of this. Actually, let's, let's do it for, let's copy the one down here. I'm going to copy the format for this one and that'll help us with the pattern. And so I'll say, copy this and then I'll paste it here and we'll paste it all the way across again, pasting it and then pasting it and then pasting it and then paste and paste okay let's go back to the start and we're gonna say all right let's check it out then so now we got the mixolydian as our starting point and so the next the next one is going to be the lokian that goes down to the to the end we loop back around this should be our major so i'm going to say this is going to be equal all the way to the top I'm going to pick up the major, so I'm going to go to the top and I'll pick it up from the first one here, which is the major. So let's pick that up, enter. Let's make it, I'm going to make it red to show that that's my home base. So we're going to say this is red to stand out as the home base note. And then I want to say, well, what's going to be that first note uh, that I need to be looking at? Well, I'm looking at now the, uh, the mixolydian. So let's go to the mixolydian 
and see where the major is in relation to a mixolydian up top up top when we were working in the major scale of the key of c so if i go to the mixolydian the four in the key of c so there's there's the c was in the uh four note uh position so one two three four so i'm going to do the same thing down here i'm going to look for my major down below so we had our major down here and i'm looking where did my major go and we're here and then the first note is going to be equal to relative to our starting point of mixolydian it's going to be equal to the four which is a nine hopefully i <clears throat> hopefully i remembered that correctly and so we're going to say enter okay so hopefully i got that if i have that right i can just copy the relative reference here pasting it just the formulas copying that down and then i can copy this here paste just the formulas here and copy that down and then i can copy the major to the right so now we're going to go and that should populate the minor that's the next one over and then the minor the relative position from the minor to the major now is going to be the sixth position which is i'm looking at that is the six which is the note of a d which happens to be a six note so i'm going to say all right there's that and then i'm going to copy this and paste the formula here and copy that down and then i'll copy this and paste it into our our numbering system and then i'll copy the minor the next one should be the dorian so i'm going to paste it over here just the formulas and then the starting note this should be the one right to the right or note number two of the major scale so if we look at the major scale note number two i'm looking at this note is is here so we're going to is the dorian which is 11 or a g so i'm going to say there's the 11 and then i'll copy this here and paste just the formulas copy it down copy this bit and paste it right here pasting just the formulas and copy it down and then we'll copy the dorian and we will go over and paste it should give us the phrygian and the starting point should be the third note of the major scale so if i go back on over here to the major scale for the phrygian the Phryg the major scale the phrygian is the third note meaning this three of the major scale so i'm going to say of the relative major so there it is it's a it's a one and that happens to be an a so i'm going to copy this paste the relative formula here copy that down and then i'll copy this paste the relative formula here and copy that down so next we have the lydian which will be the four note of the relative major so let's paste that here paste it formulas and in the four note it should be equal to the relative major i'm looking for the four note now so now the relative major is here we did the three note last time now we're on the four note this four note which happens to be a two which is an a sharp and enter so there we have that and then let's copy this and paste it uh formulas only copy it down copy it again paste it here formulas only copy it down and then the lydian goes to the mixolydian so the mixolydian starts over that's where we started so we ended off last time at uh uh the two so now we're at the four which should be the c so that makes sense because that was our starting point so if i go back on over to the starting point the mixolydian should be correct starting on the c which is a four note a c and then we're going to say all right the next one is going to be the lokian which which is the weird one uh which is at the end is the last note so i'm going to say this equals if i go back on over the starting point it equals the last note because we skipped over this one the sixth note because that's what the relative minor is so this one's the eight and enter and then we can copy the relative formulas here and paste that formulas only there copy it down this is already done i think that's already good 
All right, so hopefully we've got that correct. Let's do it one more time and wrap this up. And again, if we have any kind of errors with it, we'll test it out when we start practicing with it and hopefully pick them up at that time. But you can kind of see the process and adjust it if you, if, if you see any issues with it. So I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna, okay, let's continue. I've said that already. Last one, last one, wrapping it up, wrapping it up like, like Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. Here we go. We're just gonna paste it all the way across like we did before. The process is Lomismo. It's the same process. We've seen it time and time again. We've got it ingrained in the mind. I can do this with one eye closed and the eyelids tied together behind my back. I don't know what. Anyway, so this is the Lokian. So now we start over because we're starting with the last one now. So now we're just going to start at the beginning, which is going to be equal to, I'm going to scroll all the way to the top and pick up the major. So I'm going to go all the way to the top and go to the major right there and enter. So there we have it. And then I'm going to say, okay, what's my starting point? So we can do this again. If I go up to the top and I go to the Lokian, where we where we we're in related to the C major and say where's the C major related to the Lokian? We can see it's the it's the number two. So okay, so that means if I go to my Lokian then, and I go over here and say let's go down, 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 and there's uh, our. Lokian, and I'm going to say the starting point is relative. This this is our major relative to the Lokian. It's the two of uh, the Lokian. So I'm going to say, okay, that makes sense because the Lo it's the last one uh, when we when we when we see it in terms of the major to the. Okay, so we're going to say that. So that's a just the note number two, which is of absolute position five, which is a C sharp. Okay. And then I can copy this here and paste it there. If, if that's correct, hopefully I think it is. We're gonna, then everything else should populate properly. This, everything starts to mix together after you do this like for a while. So there we have it. So there's the major. I'm gonna make this red to indicate that that's home base. So it stands out, it's standing out. Everybody else is behind it, it's standing out for us. So then we're going to go to the right and we're going to say, let's copy this major. The next one should be the minor in the progressions we have been doing. If we copy, if we paste the formula only and the first note of the minor relative to the major is the sixth note. So relative to the major, the minor uh, is going to be note number six. I'm in the wrong spot. It should be, there it is. Note number six, which is a two, a sharp. So I'm going to say, all right, there it is. And then I'll copy this copy paste the formula copy it down copy paste the formula copy it down copy the minor next one dorian which is the second note of the major scale right click paste formulas it starts on the second note of the major scale so the first note is going to be the second note of the major scale so there's the second note represented with the little double eyes and then there's the seven, which is a D sharp. So boom, and let's copy this then and paste it formulas only, copy it down. And then we'll copy this, paste it right here, formulas only, copy it down, copy the Dorian. Next should be the Phrygian, am I right? Am I right? The Phrygian, right click and paste it, there it is. And then the first note of the Phrygian is the three note of the relative major scale. So if I go back to the relative major, there's the three note, which is absolute note number nine, which is an F. Boom, so we'll pick that up, and then I'll copy this, and I'll paste it here, formulas only, copy that down, copy this, paste it here, formulas only, copy it down, copy the Phrygian, go into the Lydian next time, and pasting the Lydian formula only, which should be the four note of the relative major scale. So the first note should be the four note 
of the relative major scale. See how what good practice this is right here? This is just great practice. There's the four note. We're picking up the 10, which is an F sharp. Boom. And then I'm gonna take this Lydian and paste it here. Formulas only, copy it down. Copy this and paste it here. Formulas only, copy it down. And then after Lydian is the Mixolydian, which will be the five note. So we're gonna say, let's paste the Mixolydian. And this is gonna be the five note of the relative major scale. So back to the relative major scale. And there it is, home base. The five note is this one, which is a 12 or G sharp, the last note in the musical alphabet as it happens. And copy that and paste the formulas here, copy it down, copy this, paste the formulas here and copy it down. Okay, and I think that's it. So hopefully, again, we'll kind of test it out while we work through the, the worksheet, but you can see just the beauty of this now because now we can we can see this side by side to whatever we want to work on uh, over here, like the major scale, right click and hide. And then I could hide the stuff above if I don't want to work with just numbers only. I can hide that. Whoop, that's not what I want to do. I want to hide. And then I can hide if I want if I want just the numbers only. I can hide uh, this stuff below from like, let's just hide all of this and then hide, boom. And so now we can see, you know, these two side by side with the major and the minor. And if I move down to the minor, then I can see the relative Dorian, which will have the same notes, right? If I did everything correctly. So now I can, I can kind of move if I'm playing in a song or just, just messing around trying to say, how can I move from a major scale to a minor scale? Well, it's going to have all the same chords. Well, what if I move from a major C to a minor C and pivot around the C and then I go from that minor C to the relative modes, then all the relative modes again, will have the same kind of notes uh, here. So you can kind of see, kind of try to map out the fretboard that way. So I'm going to unhide. So we'll play with our, now that we have our fancy worksheet, we'll, we'll, play with it. I'm hoping to play with it uh, in future presentations.